Good morning. All in dirt again. Should finish up with this pond levy today. Um, not 100% sure on that. We've got to uh, go to the far end. And he had a wooden pier in the existing pond. And we're going to build a land peninsula out there. They had to put, that's the ILS. Uh, front end tractor that was leaking and uh, Donald and Jason they had to stick a guard and left one of the protective shields that goes on the bottom of the tractor on one of the blocks that was leaking you got to bolt it back up on there they left it in the truck and we were working on the tractor and shop it'll be shaping up nice a lot taller now Also, they were setting up that laser on the top of that pan. What that's gonna do is let us be able to stay on the levee and his pan will plug into a monitor similar to that and it will automatically get the levee at the exact um, elevation to which it needs to be. Said it needed about six to eight inches more some parts more, some parts less, but average about six, eight inches uh, across the top and which would be finished. I, I think we can probably do that in a couple of hours. I'm, <laughs> All right, I'm about to try auto steering. Slow down just a little. And loading the pan. I'm gonna go right there. Exactly where I cut last time. Speed up. And that's the hard dirt to load. It's right here. It's dry though. Once it starts loading, I hope it starts turning. Never, never loaded a pan and auto steer, but now I am. And there's a fence right in front of it. So it's loading. And we're turning. What about that? Adaptive curve, or AB curve, excuse me. But I'm not leaving this on. Time you cut, you just gotta change it up a little bit to make sure it'll drain according to, like the, down that hillside. We want it to all flow into this main ditch and out the drain of that pasture, so. Auto steer is not really, if you got two hands, not really uh, the way to go. The best option, I don't think. Maybe it is for some, in some I'm sure like other situations it is. Right there, it's not. Worked that time though. bottom of the pan was set to stay at the grade throughout the entire levee uh, and it was cutting right there not much and that was just a little bit high uh, and it, it just left the gate where it was I guess it filled in right there maybe uh, where I did I just dumped about six eight inches um, As you can see a while ago when he was checking it, that part that the dozer's on right now was just a little bit low still, probably three to four inches, so. We are hauling some mucky, mucky mud through some really soft, ooh, it's a mess. But we're building this calling a land bridge I guess. William's forming it up real good. Uh, we're gonna start sloping it up to there so he can so, so we can go around it and keep dumping right there. 
may try to slide in behind him right here. Maybe smooth a little bit more. But yeah. They're gonna have a little fishing island. Instead of building a wooden pier, they're gonna have it where they can bring a lawnmower out and on top of that. Hopefully get it built straight across. Finished the lake. Now it's time to do a little work to these grain bins and uh, get a few things more functional before it's time to fill them up. Take that loose, that loose. Got our handy dandy Hilco lube. What's your uh, suggestion there? You have one? Yeah, put some spray foam on it. Spray that, foam. Yeah. <laughs> spray foam it is. A good looking spring right there. Yeah, let's spray it and see. Hey, two, one, ten. Out is in and in is out. Which means out. If he pulls it out, that's in gear. If he pushes it in, it means out of gear. It's out of gear. Right there. It's sliding fine. Mark it right there. The wheel out there that's got the, the belts on it, turn it just a little bit. Right there. That really might even be too tight, but it's it's backed off a little bit. Right here's what he was pulling. Our main objective is to make sure the bin sweeps are easy to turn on and off and everything is working correctly with them. The chains are lubed and the secondary doors are all working correctly. Glenn is saying that this is his first time to work on the grain bins other than removing old and new augers. But nothing like a little on the job training. Yeah, it looks good. Make sure they're shut though. You got that marked. All right, tap that back in. Where'd you drop your 916? I ain't getting it. <laughs> it's got the imprint right there. Richard ain't get it. She ain't get it. Get that. Oh! This bean, uh, bean smudge, fudge, something like that. Beach food. Mm. Okay, there's some holes in the floor, just cracks where the joints are. The auger, the bin sweep has uh, kind of ripped up some flash and we're going to repair it with some new material. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's perfect. What kind of nest is that, Robbie? Crow. <laughs> Crow nest. Could be an eagle's nest. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.